As crazy as the show looks, we do need people to have a good time. It's like a roller coaster, right? You want sure, to get yeah. off and go, damn, I want to do we that. We love horror movies. Horror movies are our life. You know, the support goes. Uh, I don't know, I know the Vinzy. The new boy ATX and Space Vikings. So, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure shit out. <laughs> this changed my life forever. Podcast is Zaino the Vision, Space Viking, Loki as me, and we got a dope. <laughs> got a dope interview today, man. What's up, yeah, man. We all charged up. Astro World was last night. We went Woo! there, but we was throwing shit at the building. Uh, <laughs> I was at a wedding, trying to uh, smash on some bridesmaids. Aye, uh, <laughs> you fucking scumbag. <laughs> Smashing. They probably tried to smash the bride too. <laughs> I love her, and she cares about me, and I care about her. I'm the groom at every wedding, and I'm the corpse at every funeral, baby. Goddamn right. Hey, did you raise your hand up when they say anybody want to say their last <laughs> words before we do these vows? <laughs> man, I wonder if have anybody ever, like, rose up and like, man, they shouldn't get married and just walk out the or just you Just do that to everybody Does wedding. anybody object to this union? Wait up. I know that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got photos. I know she looks Screenshots good. and messages. Yeah. Uh, I want to make a quick shout out to oh. the cat. Uh, the cat's at 10 Podcast Lane. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to that dude. Man, he shouted us out on his podcast. It's cool as shit. It's a they from across Irish, the pond, baby. Uh, yeah. It's an Irish podcast. They do horror, legend, myth, true crime. Um, and they're cool as shit. And also... Big, super big, big uh, shout out to the homie Hannah. Hannah. Hannah's underscore weird underscore cinema. Yes. Thank you for buying a gut sweatshirt and supporting your boys. Uh, and, yeah. um, man, another shout out to our girl Lindsay too, man. Lindsay, thank you for all your support, man. But really uh, so that. Hannah, Hannah listened to our Halloween special and so she sent us this message. I thought it was cool. Um, so she said, no one, because we were asking on our Halloween special, um, did anyone ever put razor blades in candy? And she said, no, that's an urban legend. But this shit happened. Uh, Ronald Clark O'Brien, October 19th, 1944, nicknamed yeah, 19, the Candyman. His, it was 1944 when it happened? Oh, no, he was born 44. Oh, he died damn. in March 84. But he was nicknamed the Candyman and the man who killed Halloween. Wow. Was an American man convicted of killing his eight year old son on Halloween 1974 with a potassium cyanide lace pixie stick? Damn. That was, I don't know what this word is, collected during a trick or treat outing. O'Brien poisoned his son in order to claim life insurance money to ease Weirdo. his own financial troubles as he was 100 grand in debt. O'Brien also distributed poison candy to his daughter and three other children in an attempt to cover up his crime. Ah. However, neither his daughter nor the other children ate the poison candy. He was convicted of capital murder in June 1975 and sentenced to death. He was executed by the lethal injection in March 1984 in Huntsville, Texas, baby. Oh. Yeah. So, there's All a little right. history. That's a little... So, From shout out, Hannah. Hannah. Thank you for that knowledge and information. So no razor blades in the candy. And thank you for buying a sweatshirt and supporting us. Maybe uh, we can get a microphone one day. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Man. That's dope, man. Keep and your eyes on the prize, motherfucker. Yeah. Keep your izzles on the prizzles. Yeah. Thank you guys for all your support. And that's what we do here. You shout us out. We shout you yeah, out. Yeah, definitely, man. Um... I wanted to bring this up, man. Have you heard about the chick uh, that she played in an indie horror film? And, like, the day that they rapped, she played the killer. And the day that they rapped, she got charged with killing her uncle. Wow. wow. Who is it? Uh, it's actor who portrayed killer in horror film awaits murder on, uh, awaits trial on murder charge. Asling Tucker Moore Reed, who appeared in... It, who appeared in the indie horror film Before the Dark, which is yet to be released. Is oh, that's going to blow up. Yeah, I know. It's going to oh, blow shit. up the movie. Yeah. Is accused of killing her uncle in 2016. An Oregon woman awaits trial for allegedly killing her uncle, portray, 
uncle portrayed a mer <sighs> a, a organ woman Get awaiting together, trial <laughs> for allegedly killing her uncle portrayed a murderer in the yet to be released low budget horror movie. Wow! Yeah, Holy dope. shit! Is she hot? No, she's not. Damn. <laughs> so who gets up money where, for where, the movie? What is, so what? How did she kill her uncle, dude? Uh, Death by strangulation. How did chicks kill dudes? Chicks kill dudes always on like some trickery shit, like she poisoned shit, them. They be shooting your ass too. Shit. You know, down in Texas, baby. Uh, yeah, stabbing, shooting. Fucking yeah, shooting. Uh, Glass in the. It doesn't say how. It says, oh, your dick off. She shot it. Oh yeah, yeah she so blasted his ass. I'm guns are lethal, man. Yeah, guns That's don't why. kill I mean, people. she's not, but she got that. I'm, I'm not guilty. Nah, I didn't she do, do it. Her basically. eyes say meth. Her eyes say uh, yeah. Her trigger finger says Wait, death. Wait, but did her uncle? Never mind. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I don't want to go there, but I'm just saying she was pissed at him for a reason. Shit, no telling. Probably stole from. Big me. shout out to the homies at Scare Tactics, man. Yes, man. We got a dope interview with dope Scott interview with Halleck. Scott Halleck. Man, appreciate Coming you up for next. appreciate you for all the hospitality while we was in Cali, man. We really enjoyed it. They really took care of us, man. Yeah, they, we got the Scare Tactics double DVDs. Yeah, they hooked us up with some merch. They the double uh, D. The double DVDs. Yeah, they hooked us up with some merch. They sent a, a lift car for us, man. Yeah, man. Bought it was us dope, lunch. Man. They really treated us like. And shout out to that boy Tom great. too, man. Yeah, shout out to the homie Tom at Scare Tactics, man. Yeah, man. You are a gentleman and a scholar, and I love you. Yes, oh. Touchdown. And touchdown. Yeah. So uh, um, today we're going to talk about Dr. Sleep. Oh, don't sleep. Don't, 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 don't sleep. Don't. Hey, yeah. Shout out to Ghost. Shout out to our boy Ghost. So with that we went and saw Dr. Video. Sleep last night, or was it the night before? Uh, get your shit together. Man. We, did, we saw it. <laughs> yeah, we saw the shit. Anyways, Dr. Sleep, it's, you know, basically The Shining 2, they could have called it. Um, but no, it's actually a book. I didn't. I didn't realize it was the book called Doctor. When did they put the book out? I fucking hate to read, so I don't but know. I'm just saying, like, we need to look into that. When did they put the book? And that's dope, yeah. cause, cause really the movie itself, like most movies, when you be like, man, they wait so long to put something out. But since it being a book, it's like it's not a bad time to put it out. Yeah, Doctor Sleep. It was perfect, man. Doctor Sleep was dope, man. Doctor Sleep is like. So the kid, uh, what was his name in The Shining? Danny. The Danny. Book, the book was, re- was released September 24th, 2013. Okay. Look that at makes, Kent. Look at him. Doing He's on some it. actual producing shit That's that lizard on his Way own to go. talking to him. That lizard. That's not him talking. It's a dragon. It's a lizard. It's, it's a, a dragon. dragon. <laughs> That's the dragon licking him. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so Dr. Sleep, it's like if Danny, the kid from The Shining, Danny Torrance, yeah. he, you know, he grew up. And but that's, um, he grew up and had that's what the demons like the demons from well, the uh, shining itself. Yeah, still so these them. demon things. Well, he still has the shining in him, right? He's yeah, got he the still shining. has the shining in him. And uh, if you haven't seen the shining, or I mean, if you haven't seen Doctor Sleep yet, fast forward all this shit and get to the dope scare tactics interview because we're about to spoil the fuck out of it. But that's what we're supposed to do. We saw it, so it yeah. So, anyways, happen. the kid, uh, he's grown up. It's what's his name. Ian McGregor, Ewan McGregor, Ewan McGregor. and he's Ewan. grown up. He's he's an alcoholic. Yeah. Oh, they did some dope shit about yeah, the program, dope, which is really cool. Really? Yeah, 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 man. Because the dude, that's he, cool. he yeah. went, he went to his friend. Well, he ended up going to this other town because he had to get away from all his troubles. And he knocked on the guy's door like at three, four in the morning. The guy was like, "You say you can see people and read people," and he was like. Yeah, I understand. He brought him into the room, and then the next day they was in AA. I was like, oh, shit. That's kind of dope. He's getting his 24-hour chip. Yeah. Shout out to the Texas house. Yeah, he shows up in this town, and this guy's, like, building this train set thing outside, and he's like, I know that look. And so he thinks he has the shining, and he goes, I can help you. But it's actually, he's an alcoholic, alcoholic and he can see that he's an alcoholic. And the dude was in recovery also. Yeah. So we like that, of course. But then, um, so he... What you kind of find out is when he was a kid, all these, the things at the Shining Hotel, the Overlook Hotel, yeah, they like to feed on people with the Shining. Yeah, and he had it. And he had it. And the, and the hotel has demons in it and they live there and that's like a haunted place. Mm-hmm. You know, I forgot the, the details of it. But anyways, so they kept coming after him 
all his life. So the old school cat uh, from the hotel. Yeah. What was his name? I think Frank. I think it was something. I forgot his you name. You know the old school cat that yeah. t- told him about the shining. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He he told he tell he showed him a trick. Say when they come after. Oh, you. the black dude. The old yeah, 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 the old yeah, school yeah, cat. Yeah. Yeah. So he told him a trick where if you open you like a trick where you open this box in his mind and traps the demons, put the demons inside the in boxes. the fucking and box. They get stuck there. They get stuck yeah, there. and they get yeah. trapped in his mind. Yeah. So meanwhile, um, there's this bitch in a top hat and she's kinda hot. And you she you has find out it in her too. So these things these things they you they I guess they used to be human, but they had the shining, but they've morphed into like these demons that kind of live forever, but they feed on people with the shining. Yeah, and they they, they feed on kids. They like kids with the shining. And it's well, they fucked feed on up. anybody. They feed on anybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But who they, you are. they like the kids better because they're shot. They can they can find them easier because their shine is stronger. Because yeah, they haven't been like corrupted they, they, by like they, they, cell phones and alcohol. They get off your um your fears. So like if they kind of find you and cut you up when your fear come out, you oh from yeah dying. It it breathes out your mouth and they like scoops it, it into was this fucked vibe. up. Fucking, yeah, like wow. they they took this little boy and they're like, oh, we like it when you're scared and they're fucking killing him. It was whack, dude. It was crazy. And then um, so they, 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 they bro, that's kind of if you think about it, that's kind of linked with the green mile. I never saw that. So I, what I think you never seen the green mile? I just know that that's it had the big dude in it and he was like. Boss, but the, my, see, I'm seeing things. You ever seen yeah. the Green Mile? Yeah, the, the dude the that passed mile. away. Yeah, Michael Clark Duncan. The, the 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 Green Mile is written by Stephen King. Okay. And the dude in the Green Mile has an ability to fix people. Yeah. And he could take their pain away, and once he takes their pain away, he breathes it out of their mouth into these fucking crazy bees that come out of his mouth. So I think the dude in the Green Mile had The Shining also. I so. Could have been, but this is like this is the shining Street. is just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, but but this is like the shining is they can just they can predict the future and they can talk to each other and each other. So they're just psychics. They don't fucking ease each other's pain. Yeah, they, they they could read minds and all kind of stuff. Fuck. But the lady could like yeah, she could pick you up from like far but, distance yeah, away. Yeah, she can she can detect your shine from far distance away. So they what they do is they roam around the country tracking down kids and people with the shining and kill them and eat them. Yeah. And then they get to live forever kind of thing. And so they had a cool they had like they found this one chick that she used her shine to like trick men. You know, she was only 15. Yeah, so she, she would lure grown men yeah. to come meet her, you know, cuz they were like pedophiles. And then she would like just whisper in the ear you you don't feel any pain right no, now. Why she cut on no, her she face? Like you're getting sleepy. Jesus Christ! Yeah, she like, tell you. Oh yeah, she go, She'll go sleep, and they'll just sleep instantly. She'll just go sleep, and then she goes. Now you're gonna. Rem- your wife's gonna see what you did, and she like cut on their face because you not you don't feel this right now. Yeah, but she said every and time you steal their wallet. Mirror, every time you look in the mirror and see those cuts, you're gonna scream. I like little kids. It's like it's wild, man. Yeah, so the, Ooh, they the Jesus the, the evil yeah, group. Re- yeah, the evil group rec- recruits her. But when they when they recruit someone with the shining, they have to like kill them and make them a demon thing. Well, like they can them. either turn you or take your shine. Yeah, they can either kill you it. and take your sh- and eat you, or they'll turn you into one of them. So they turn into one of them. So meanwhile, there's a little girl who's got a, the shining really strong, really really yeah. powerful and young, and she becomes the, kind of a pen pal with a with now Danny. sober yeah. Danny yeah. Torrance, who's got his shit together. And she communicates him through this chalkboard that he has on his room. And she just say hi. And they, they become friends over the years. They've never met. Well, somehow she gets her shine all fucked up into the... And she sees them killing this kid yeah. in a bad group. And so she goes to get Danny for help. But it's funny because it was crazy because when she was killing... When they was killing the boy, she, she visioned it. And the other lady was feeling somebody watching her. Yeah, but it was the little girl, and she saw the whole yeah. thing, and it was like wow, because she's like somebody's here, as a presence was here. They haven't yeah. felt that in years, and she like she's powerful. Yeah, so we that turns her. the group all on because they yeah. want to go eat her because she's really powerful. Yeah, and she tried to like, you know, like mess with the girl, but the girl, little girl, was so strong, so powerful. she knocked her on her ass from her mind. Yeah, yeah. Like she knocked her off the. It was funny. She knocked her off that trailer thing. Yeah. And meanwhile, the group is 
they're they're getting hungry. They haven't eaten as well over the years because people have cell phones. Yeah, and they can't find the people they really want. So they got these drugs of holding different people. So it's like to feed you, she got to open one up. And the smokes come out, and you like everybody gets around and sucks no, it up. And she, shit. Yeah, it's vials of it's people wild. for later. Like they save the people in these it's canisters. Fucked up. Yeah, it's man. fucked up. It's wild. So, so okay, they're fighting the group. Well, J- Danny Torrance knows we're not going to be able to 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 go after this one girl alone. So he goes. He goes. I know a place that feeds on people like us and so if it's dangerous for us it'll be dangerous for her yeah so he takes her back to the he Gee. takes the little girl back to the yeah. overlook fucking yeah. hotel oh, no way yeah. yeah dude yeah and he it goes fucking nuts yeah, and, then, and then the music kicks in dun yeah. dun but it was, dun, it was so dun, good dun, cause dun, when he told her he told her to wait that scene like, I gotta where they wake it up. I was like, oh shit. That scene where they they pull up on the in the lake yeah. and that and that you see it. It goes yeah. dun dun. Yeah. It was fucking lit. It's fucking crazy. It was dope, dude. Yeah, and was. so they go to the Overlook Hotel, and uh, Danny Torrance is like, "Yo, hey, wait out here for a minute. Let me know when she gets here. I gotta go wake this thing up." And so he goes into. It's a major spoiler here. Fast forward if you haven't seen it. So he goes into the Overlook fucking hotel and sits down at the fucking bar. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And gets a shot poured From by us. his dad. Yeah. No way. Jack Torrance, but it's not Jack Nicholson, but it's it's, it's actually good. the dude who played Elliot from ET. He looks But he looks just, like him. He's like got his hair. hair like that. And so he goes, he's like, I don't know. He goes, Dad, I don't he goes, I don't know who I think you have me mistaken with someone else, sir. And he's trying to get him to relapse. But you remember how in The Shining, Jack Torrance, he he um, he was trying to be sober, and he went up there and yeah. he relapsed basically. Well, in this one, he doesn't relapse. That's fucking awesome. It's dope, dog. And then and then um, so it, it the the house comes alive in any ways. So he's fighting the the main girl, and he kind of tricks her because he like acts like she's kicking his ass, and then she gets on top of him. And then he unlocks all those boxes in his mind. But no, the and first all those the things. First part, when, when she can get her, so when she came in, when she came into the, it was no, is the part when she came into the hotel, and she was looking at the girl and the guy at the stairs. He was standing at the stairs just like his dad was, and she walked up and they made her believe she was in a little snow trap. So the whole time they walking around like. Like she's in a snow maze. So it's basically their shining versus her shining. Yeah, basically, but they're a little more powerful. And she, um, to get to the little girl, she drunk all the vials. She opened all of them up. But when she got there, they made it seem like she was trapped in that little snow maze. It was crazy because the little girl was standing on one side and she had disappeared and come by and cut her leg and That's keep cutting her leg. Sick. Then she finally caught her and she was talking to her. She was like, hold up, like, what the fuck? You're not scared of nothing? But they was trying to set her up to put her in one of those boxes. And she broke through the box. Then she found out who Danny was. She like, oh, shit. We, how the hell did you go under our radar? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck we haven't found you? But what it was, the reason why they didn't find him, because he was getting older and he was drinking. He was alcoholic. He was kind of like shadow. Yeah, man. They was like, how the hell we missed out on you? But when, and getting back to what Austin was saying, when the lady finally got Danny on My the My name ground, is Space Viking on this show. Yes, the Viking of space. <laughs> to get back to what he was saying, when she had him down on the ground, she's like, what is that in your mind? What's all those boxes? And then he opened them up and all the people reappeared. The two <laughs> twin girls. Yeah, the, the two old twin guys. The old bitch with the, the rotten crazy. tits. Yeah, man. And they all start getting inside of her. They it start was, pulling her face apart and eating her. It's fucking lit. And when they ate her, they was like, oh shit, who's left? And it was Danny. And they was like, oh yeah, come play with us forever. And it was like back to that shit. And then they got on him, Dude. man. And he ended up turning into Jack. He ended up turning into his dad. He was chasing the little girl around the hotel That's with that. That's fucking awesome. Wild yeah. movie, man. That movie is dope, man. Yeah. It is? Yeah, yeah. it's dope, man. It's dope. It, it, it's definitely cool, man. I, I uh, you know... It's not like... Bro, that's some big shoes to fill. Yeah, yeah. man. And I think was, they, they did dude, a good uh, job. Mike they Flanagan, did a good job. he's got it directed it. Yeah. He was like, man, it, he had to even... Because it's Stanley Kubrick did the first one, bro. Yeah. That's like a big deal, you yeah. know? And he was like, I, he had to make a conscious effort to not even think about that yeah, shit. Yeah, man. Like, not even... 
Cause they, cause it's first, such big, it's such a big fucking gap to fill. Yeah, you know? first I, I thought it was gonna be back. like they was gonna be at the the, the hotel yeah. the whole time. And I'm so glad it wasn't like a thing where it was like. I've got to go back to the Shining Hotel to yeah, deal yeah. with my demons type yeah. of thing. You know, it was like some like shit. They did it right. I'm they going to an perfect. evil. Yeah, they did it right. Yeah, I'm going wrong. to an evil place. Stephen King's a fucking fool, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. He's a fucking Stephen fool. King's but a definitely. Beast. So, what's your uh, your guts uh, rating? What's your? I I give it. Um, loss of limb. Full loss of limb. B plus. Yeah. yeah, definitely. B plus. Because I, I I'm I'm just glad they didn't like fuck it up to where it made it boring. So it's like ah. Yeah, because it does. When something that. that big has huge potential to be a piece of shit, yeah, you know, sure. to just not really be, just be just to let people, even if it's good, it can yeah. let people down. And they, and they kind of sort of when you watch the movie, it's kind of setting it up to be like we could go on with this because at the end she was like, "Is it more of us?" He's like, "Hey, it might be good like you, and it might be bad like her." Because the lady had told him that. You think I'm the only one? I'm like, oh shit! They setting it up to be like a trilogy or some shit. Yeah, the it's only be interesting how they do it. The only um, it was long as fuck. Yeah, but it was worth it though. It was worth it. It wasn't boring. No, it wasn't boring. It wasn't boring. What's the rewatchable factor? Definitely go see what you miss. Like in all movies, I like, think I think I think it's one of those movies when you watch it again, you'll like it more because you'll catch more. Yeah, shit. you're gonna see other thing. stuff that you did because this is is. A lot of stuff going on in there, and it's like, cause the old, for instance, when the old guy that, that was on the lady's side died, she's like, "You lived a long life. You saw kingdoms being built." So he was actually from, yeah, times Caesar and, times, yeah. And so I'm thinking like they could go into detail about his story That'd and see dope. his shine. That would be dope as hell. Like how did he? Cause I'm thinking from watching that that he was the one that turned the lady out, that got her into the shining and stuff. Cause she told a little girl I was once like you I was arrogant to somebody showed me yeah. the way They didn't want to turn the little girl Cause she was that powerful She was like no nobody could then be on this team a, had And to work go. like this Cause in one part of the movie she was floating around To go find a little girl She ended up landing on the street Jesus then, she, Christ. then she got in her room But when she got in the room trying to read the girl dreams The little girl started getting in her head And going through her file and shit yeah. And she was like oh shit she's so powerful Fucked and broke her hand up and knocked the ass off the dream. Jeez. So she woke up with her hand like cut up. Dope movie. I we like you say we give it the capitation. Would you go see it again in theater? Yeah, yeah. definitely, man. I, de- I, I, I kind of want down to. For that. I think I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, I'm definitely down to go see that again. And hell yeah, yeah, most yeah. most definitely. Overall, sure. Doctor Sleep. Uh, it's a good fucking. It's a good. Sh- it's a good time. It's they they lived up. You know, I don't think it's better than the original, but yeah. it's a good complimentary piece to it. And the main thing is they didn't fuck it up. Yeah, that's it, the big. That's yeah. the main thing. Yeah, it's one of those things. If you don't fuck it up, it's gonna be great. Yeah, it was. It, honestly, when when he well, like you figure because you don't they're they're not even really at the, you know to talk about the hotel, just kind of like the things that were after him in the beginning, but like. The old lady would show up with the rotten tits in his bathroom as a little kid and freak him out. Yeah. And he learned how to trap them in his mind. But when he when he realized, I know a place we can go, and yeah. then that music kicks Just in. Just that alone. And then the music kicks in, yeah. dog. You're like, whoa. Yeah. Like, you get those chills. I, I, I'm just really glad it didn't start at the Overlook Hotel. Like... It would be dope to go. I need to go back and face these demons it'd once be, and for all type of thing. This is like shit. There. Bro. Yeah. You can go there. I know. It's called the uh, Timberline Lodge in Mount Hood in Oregon. Bro. Yeah, that would be wild. Wh- hey, everyone. <laughs> please go buy some Guts merch so we can do a live podcast at from the there. At the Overlook Hotel. At the oh, Overlook shit. Hotel. And asshole. that brings us to Shoes of the Week. <laughs> hey. hey, Shoes of the Week. <laughs> Hey, the Shoes of the Week brought to you by Zaino Division. Shout out to Active Athlete uh, for Cullen. Bing. Shout out to Active Athlete and Home Clark. Bing. Shout out to our store, Nice Kicks and Austin off the drag. Bing. And our big brother store, 4802 Washington, the arena. Buy, sell, and trade at the arena. So this week, man, since it's been a big weekend for Houston, man, we going to do the Travis Scott Nike Air Force One Low Let's Cactus go. Jack. Let's go. So this, it, it dropped on the 16th, I think it was. So right now, trust me, if you didn't get them on the 16th. They gone. 
Stock X, I think I just saw a pair for like 879 bucks. What's crazy, man, this shoe was retailed at 160. And what's dope about now, I'm realizing, well, not realizing, but Travis Scott got the Jordans that drops, and he has these Air Force Ones that come out. If you could, if you could look it up, the it's a zip up patch on the front of it, but you could take that patch off, which I think is dope. It, it, it says um, it's the it's the composed of mixed materials such as textile, leather, and suede that are styled in a patchwork theme, as well as a different tones. The sides also bear special patterns and text, which reflect things from Scott's upbringing. Like durability, traditional work clothes, and natural tones associated with being outdoors, and the surreal vibes of Astroworld. Other, Other Air Force Ones. Yeah, Air Force yeah. Ones. Other details include Texas branding straps on the heel as a nod of Scott's home state, followed by a zipper lace around corduroy canvas. Finally, a white midsole and yellow rubber outsole tops of the design. Retailed at 160 so right now it's like... Ridiculous, man. The back with the yeah, man. The back. Well, look at the sick. back. He put a whole Texas yeah, style theme to this shoe, man. And it's like yeah, so. They're eight ninety nine. It's so. Is what's the eight ninety nine on StockX? On a uh, goat. Go on goat. Nah, that's crazy, dog. Because right now ones for eight ninety. Right now on goat is eight seventy. They got these other these other prices, man. I'm pretty sure if you got a couple of pair, you could you could put any kind of ticket price on them. Man, hey, shout out to rip. Travis Scott doing big things in H Town, man, and bringing Astroworld back as a concert and show, and displaying a lot of Houston artists that's doing great, yeah. and a lot of OG artists that's that and, uh, modified and like turned Houston into the culture that it is. And big fucking shout out to our boy Slump Sessions, yeah, Slump who Sessions, who got a free media pass. Yeah, Slump's got a free media to pass. Go to Astroworld and for shout free. out to our boy Ryan is the barber, man. He actually got the cut hat. At the event, man, that's that's super dope to me, man. Yeah. And uh, shout out to my nephew Manny, man, man. You always in the mix, man. You was right there in the mix. I love that. But it's a definitely if you got a chance to cop it, it's a cool ass shoe. I like the fact that it's representing H Town. Nike Air Force Ones are always a legendary shoe. So if you have a chance to get it or you got it, that's perfect. If you don't. God damn, your pocket's gonna take a little dent. I like that he didn't do another set of Jordans, and he no, came he, through with some Air Force. But he ones. always he gonna do Jordans. Like, look at these coming out pretty soon. Oh, I'm not sweat. gonna tell people about them, but those, Jesus. those, yeah. So he keeping the Jordan, and that's super dope that he got. But I mean, Air I Force like ones. that they're like they're not like the baby blue cactus. You know, like he did no, he totally changes different them design. up every time. Yeah, yeah he does awesome. wild colors, and he and he put his label on there, which I think is super dope. But that's. Man, if you got it, man, that's a cool ass shoe. I, I advise you to week. keep it, and I advise you to uh, damn. I advise you to uh, try to resell them if you can. Yeah, if you have I'm more, of, multiple sell pairs, them sell them, man. Actually, I'll buy them right now for a hundred and ten. Smackaroos. And you could say that a <laughs> hundred smackarinos. You could even say that Loki as me bought my shoes. No shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but that is Zaino the Vision Shoes of the Week, man. <sighs> and that brings us to Fuckery. Fuckery. That's right, ladies. Take out that vibrator. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Here we and go. Turn it on low because we want to warm you up with a simmer. It's not turn a lizard. It it's low. a dragon. It's not a lizard. <laughs> it's a dragon. It's a dragon, baby. Where is that thing? Is it climbing on oh, your back? Shit. Oh, yeah. Ken's got a dragon on him. Anyways, uh, and that's not a metaphor. Keep that dragon on me. Keep God. that so, dragon on me. So, I didn't really... I want to talk about Wacko. Um, oh. Oh. It's gone. So, folks... Ten. This, nine. but I didn't because I can't really remember all the shit that happens. So this week on Fuckery, we're gonna do hobo with a shotgun. Yeah, yeah. So classic hobo Let with me a guess shotgun. What it's about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, R.I.P. to the great Rutger Hauer, man. He's like this sweet little homeless dude, and he he shows up to this town, which is like man, I should a have fucking sent us the time. nightmare in hell, <laughs> and he pulls up, and it's like. There, it's just like people doing all kind of crazy shit. Like it, it, like this guy's paying these bums to like eat glass and all kind of fight each other and all kinds of shit. So right when he pulls into the town, the I forgot the name of the bad guys, but they're um, 
there's like a gang that runs the town. It's a dad and his two sons. And they have these dope ass like varsity letterman jackets that are black and white. Well, they're killing their uncle. And they put like a a sewer manhole cover over his head. Yeah. And then drop him down into the fucking sewer rip thing. His head off. And they rip and then they rip his head off. And the head is spurting blood everywhere. And this chick who's wearing a fur coat and a bikini and high heels <laughs> runs up and just starts rubbing the yeah, blood man, all over her pussy and blood. shit. And basically this town is like hell. And the police are corrupt and all this. So he decides to take a stand. And <laughs> uh, a he's trying to save up money for a lawnmower so he can start a lawnmower business and like get his shit together. Um, he's, he, but everyone in the town's corrupt. He goes to the police for help. They're corrupt. They um, And he sees the, the brothers of the gang like abusing this hooker. So he steps in and tries to save her. And they cut his chest up with a thing. And she feels bad. They don't kill him. And she takes him in. Well, instead of buying a lawnmower, he gets a fucking shotgun. I was about to say, he can't afford a lawnmower. He can afford a shotgun. Shotgun with a lot of shells. He he (laughs) saved up his money. and and, uh, Oh, and he he did things like eat glass on the the guy's thing for the money. And he he gets the money. And he gets a shotgun. And he goes on a fucking rampage. Oh, yeah. Like, these brothers, they like... So he, he starts killing all the bad guys in town, and he's going to clean up the town type of thing. And the news, oh, man, a vigilante. Some, so the gang is pissed, so they want to strike fear into people. So they get a school bus full of kids and set it on fire yeah, yeah. And, and burn these kids to death. And they say, we're going to fucking keep coming after your kids unless you bring us this homeless man. So now he's got the whole town coming at him Jesus. and the criminals. And yeah, a bunch like of crazy shit sound. happens, and I can't remember what happens at the end, but Hubbo with a shotgun, check it out. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, before we go, I wanted to ask y'all one thing. No. So Elijah Wood <laughs> and Daniel Noah, you know who Elijah Wood is? Yeah. Frodo. Yeah. yeah. And Daniel Noah, they have this production company called Spectre Vision. Yeah. So there's been talks about them picking up sign us? and remaking oh. Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh huh. Don't fuck with Freddy, man. Good luck with that. Good luck. Yeah, how are you going to rec... Well, you, the, last mean, one, the last one wasn't too good. Yeah, great, it's going to so. be better than the, the fake Freddy. I, yeah. I look at it like this. If anybody that does it, and I know Robin England probably doesn't want to play it, but use Robin England voice or have somebody that can actually sound like Robin England. You can't... I, I think that will be dope. Yeah, because that's what made Freddy, Yeah, it was his man. voice and his movements, you man. You can't... You can't, like... Even back in the day, when Rob, they came out with the first Nightmare on Elm Street, so they were like, oh, we're going to make the second one. And Robert England's like, all right, pay me. Uh, and they are like, no. So they tried to get somebody else for the yeah, second movie, and the guy couldn't do it. So they're like, shit, get Robert back. So yeah. the, Robert England is the whole movie. Yeah, I just don't definitely. see how you can do, a, do one without him. Yeah, well, we'll let him try. But other than that, we are yeah. getting to Scott. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, we had a badass time in Los Angeles for Halloween. Yeah. We went to Halloween Horror Nights. It was fucking amazing. And um, now we shout out to you. Jeffrey Reddick, Final Destination yes. creator. We had lunch with him out there. Scott um, Halleck is the interview. And Zan was trying to wrap this bro, shit I'm up. Like, bro, yes, man. Let's. This, this is about yeah. Scott Halleck. Dude, yeah. and the Scare Tactics. Big right shout now. out to Scare Tactics. Scott Halleck created Scare Tactics. He's the fucking man. And the interview is dope. The interview is dope. Out. Here he comes. And here comes Scott. Big shout out to Scott and Tom. And I'm not wearing any pants right now. Yeah, I'm saying no to Vision. Space Viking. Low key as me. And we out. Scott, what's up? All right, one, two, three. Hey! Ah! Welcome to Gus Podcast. It's Zaino the Vision. It's your boy Space Viking. We got a live ass guest for y'all today. Live man. at five, baby. We are here with the founder, creator. Secret magician, yes. Um, gentleman, scholar, man of many talents, the guy that created Scare Tactics. Fuck yeah, your homie Scott Halleck. Scott Thanks, Halleck. Guys. Hey! We love warm it, welcome. Man. Yeah, I know, it's a it's a Houston welcome, man. All right, thank we got, you. We love it, <laughs> My man. My guy, uh, we love it. Ha 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 ha! I just blessed you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, Scott. We rub that deep. off on scare yeah. tactics. Yeah, I'm wearing my we, scare tactics. We swag. Nike deep. man. I always okay. So when I first saw scare tactics, shout out to Tracy Morgan too. Um, you had to be the biggest prankster, like 
I'm like, I would be, I would be fucking yeah. nervous, like being around you. <laughs> but like, I was like, man, he has to be like the biggest, like. I want to fuck with people all yeah. the time. That's the question I, I always had. How do you get into this and make this a job? Because we think it's the fucking awesome shit yeah. ever. It's a fun job for sure. Yeah. It's, uh, gosh, it started back with, uh, we were doing spy TV for NBC. Mm. And, uh, and Sci-Fi reached out to us and said, hey, could you do a scary kind of paranormal hidden camera show for us? And we were like, oh, yeah, of course we could. So we just kind of put that twist on it, and we wanted Scare Tactics Spits to kind of come across like little miniature horror movies. Yeah. And yes. And that, that one person doesn't know they're in. And everyone's set up by a friend or a family member on the show. So we do try to make sure... Set up by a friend or a family member on the show. So we do try to make sure we're scaring people safely. Because <laughs> ultimately, as crazy as the show looks, we do need people to have a good time. It's like a roller coaster, right? You want sure, to get off yeah. and go... Damn, I want to do that again. Yeah, definitely. no doubt. And so that's the reaction we usually get. So was I always a prankster? I guess a little bit. You know, I was. I was always. I, I like to have fun. I like horror and comedy together. Yeah. So comedy was what kind of drew me to this, and and we we all like to laugh. It's scary for one person, but hopefully for the rest of us, it's funny. Cause see, I think when I got into it, I saw it in like the middle. I didn't see the beginning, and I just saw somebody like being nervous. I'm like, now what the hell am I watching? Like. Why are they doing these people like that? Then I saw it come out like, oh, you on scare tech. What I like about it is the fact that you don't hold people that long. Because, like, one dude, uh, when the aliens came out in the barn and he hit the dude. Oh, yeah. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, he took it there. And the guy was like, and the, but the actor was great because he took the punch and didn't, like, react to it. And I was like, oh, shit. But the dude was so scared. And they're like, like, are you scared? Are you scared? Like, yeah, I'm gonna scare. I'm like, oh man, that, that probably been my reaction too. Oh yeah, the, and we tell our actors, you know, keep a distance from the marks. The marks is what we call the victims mm -hmm. in the pranks because that is it's a safety thing, right? And yeah. that actor who got punched <laughs> is Alex Mandel, who's Howie Mandel's son. Wow! Oh, wow! Alex was working with us. He did a bunch of shows with us. He's a prankster. And uh, Alex was just so into his role, as you saw, as the alien, he kind of went, Arr, he wanted to turn it up a notch, and the dude punched him. Yeah. And then as soon as we revealed, the kid we were pranking was so sweet, he was like, went to Alex, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and Alex was like, no, no, you did the right thing. You yeah. Know? That was correct. Your reaction was I right. I was like, oh, that blew my mind, because I'm like, that'd probably be the normal reaction for a lot of people, man. You're putting people in fight or flight situations, yes. and you can't be surprised when someone wants to fight. <laughs> so we try to do our best to to keep the scene safe. We yeah. try to remove anything in the area that can be used as a weapon. Mm -hmm. We try to scan the area first. Yeah. And take, but people surprise us and like pick up, you know, hairbrushes or, you know, oh, shoes or something, you know, whatever they can, chairs. So is it up to the guests? Like, for instance, like if I'm pranking uh, Space Viking, uh -huh. do I pick like something? Do, is it to y'all stage or to is it to the guest who's on like, hey, this is how I want to set them up? We usually approach the friend with, here's what we're thinking for your friend. Here's yeah. the prank we're thinking of for them. Because, um, you know, unbeknownst to the people who are on the show, yeah. they they sign up for the show ahead of time. Mm. They don't know they're signing up, signing up for scare tactics. Nice. They sign, are signing up for an unnamed reality show. But it gives us a chance to ask them if they have any medical issues, any heart conditions, yes, sure. you yes, know, yes. Uh, anything like that. And then we find out kind of what they're into. And if people, say, believe in aliens... We know that an alien prank is going to be good for them because they're going to tend to believe. Yeah. We've done alien pranks to people who aren't believers. Yeah. And they're like, get out of here. Yeah, like, you know, it's not going to get me. We shoot yeah. multiple victims every night mm. because some of them just don't work. Sure. And yeah. so you have to try again until you get one. You want that works. the ones that people are going to want to watch. Like, oh if God, it's kind of lame, you got to edit that out. That's it. Yeah. We, we, won't, we don't use the lame ones. Like, people ask us all the time, like, where are your outtakes? Where are your bloopers? Well, in hidden camera shows, there's no real bloopers like if mm. something happens you just got to go with it you yeah. pretend like you meant it to happen yeah. or if someone isn't believing what you're doing if they're not buying the prank it's lame if it's it's not an entertaining it's not fun to watch <laughs> yeah. it's like they're not scared at all that sucks and that know? was huge to like have tracy morgan on i think it was one of the 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 girls she was hosting the party and they ate the poison cake oh yeah and she, <laughs> oh, that one and, was awesome, and she, dude. And she was, and he was like, "It's some good damn cake." And she it? was over there just eating it and eating it, and then yeah. just like everybody is pausing. I was like, 
I was like, oh my God. I know she was just like, man, I'm, I'm about to die. Cause so, how long have y'all been doing this now? Yeah. It's been. Since 2002, 2003. Yeah, that's yeah. It's a long time. in 2003 on Sci Fi, back before they were S Y F Y. Yeah. Mm. Back then they were Sci Fi, S C I F I. So, oh, that's yeah, how so long was, it's been. Yeah, that, have been, that is a while. Yeah. That is a long. So, do you get, um, after doing it this long, is there anything that comes up that surprises you Always. now? Still. Yeah. So still. it's still, because it's... You never know how people are going to react. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you can plan as much as you want, and you can try to... You can never predict human you behavior. you can predict. So we've got an outline for every bit, you know, and here's here's the beats of the story. Here's where it's going to go. It's going to start here. The three basic beats of a scare tactics bit are... What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first part. They're like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and then something bigger will happen, and it's like... Now I'm getting concerned. <laughs> and then the last beat, as you mentioned, we, we let him off the hook when it gets really bad. Because the last beat is, holy fucking shit. Yeah. That's when the alien's coming at you. That's when all hell yeah, breaks so loose. so much happening. And when all hell breaks loose, that's, that's usually we're at the reveal at that point. Yeah. That's so, what, yeah. So what's your, your at a, doing this all these years, which one was your favorite episode? There's or so, the most fun to do. There's it's so got to be tons. Yeah. Well, there's there's so many. The the one you mentioned, the alien one, was great. Yeah. That kid's reaction when those aliens came out was priceless. Bit for bit, pound for pound, the best reactions we get on the show are with our little guy Gabriel, who played Rat Monster. <laughs> he's 28 inches tall. He's played Rat Monster, Satan's baby. Um, he's played a, a Barnacle Boy. He's played a conjoined twin. When we use Gabriel, it always it works. Yeah. <laughs> and the rat Shout out to Gabriel. Bit, <laughs> <laughs> right. Gabriel, uh, the rat monster bit on YouTube probably has eight or nine million views wow. or something like that. Like that's the one that most people know about. So that one, it was just perfect. The kid was an animal rights activist. He came for the night to help clean out this lab. When he got there, he found out that the scientist working at the lab, who wasn't there, who had disappeared under mysterious circumstances, um, he was doing experiments where he was like <laughs> crossing human and animal DNA. And so they found all these weird things in jars. That's the now I'm getting concerned part. Oh yeah. He pulls a jar off and he sees like a human baby <laughs> liquid and it's got like weird ears on it or something. And then they start hearing things mm -hmm. And then eventually Gabriel comes out, scares the crap out of this kid. But you know, G Gabriel's this tall. You could just go, boom. yeah. Sorry, I just kicked your audio. Yeah, yeah boom. good. And then it's like, why did it, this reaction and is not that way? They they just they, it's just they, a freak out. I think like it's the, not it's of the this freak world. out part. Like, yeah. like you say, man, if you put me in a situation, if I know, if I'm telling the whole, this is what I'm afraid of, and you put me in that situation. I think that's my normal reaction is to like, oh shit, it's really happening. And well, that's the one thing we won't do <laughs> is if people are afraid of spiders. Oh yeah, we won't scare them with spiders <laughs> because they're going to shut down. Yeah, they're going to have a. Be they're going to get so freaked out. They're going to cry, and then at the end, they're going to go, is... "Why did you do that to me? You know, I was afraid of spiders." <laughs> Yeah. And then we're like, oops. Like, like what you kind know. of friend are you? <laughs> right. So if someone's afraid of spiders and snakes, we'll stay away from that. Yeah. But but if if someone's into that stuff, you know, they can still be scared by a spider yeah. without being like shutting down, being over the corner in a fe in the corner in a fetal position, like rocking back and forth, sucking on their hand. You know, yeah. that's not a good reaction. Well, I think that keeps the show fun. Yeah. That, it's supposed to be. Fun. You know what I mean? It's 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 a fun time, and it's not like, you know. It, it's scary, but it's not something like that's fucked up. Like, yeah. damn, dude. Like, it, you know, like bum fights or something where they're, right, doing, you know right. what I mean? So it's like uh, that keeps the show fun. And I think, you know, it translates to the audience like having fun. And so they're having fun with you at home and they're, you know, at yeah. a party. And some you're like, oh, shit. You know, like we're, knuckleheads like us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what was your like um, the craziest reaction that ever happened while working on Scare Tactics? We've had, we start, so the last two seasons that are on Netflix right now, we shot those in Toronto. Netflix, Netflix. check it out. Um, we start, and we had this before too, but more so, we needed this more in Toronto than anywhere. Mm. We shot the last two seasons in Toronto, and we had to start setting up something we called a runner cam, which is, say the prank is taking place in this room. Well, outside this room, outside the door you guys came in, yeah. we would have a camera person stationed 
oh, in case yeah. the person bugged out in the middle of the bit. <laughs> nice. Because sometimes stuff would get so intense, and people would run. Fight or flight. And, you know, a lot of our camera people are in camera hides, and they can't get out, and our, our crew's all hidden away. And we can't get to them quickly, so we have to have someone stationed outside <laughs> to shut it down and go. You're on a you're on a prank show. You're on a prank show. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. But you have to have that on TV. You have to have that moment captured so yes. that when they find out they're on a show, you have yeah. it. So in Toronto, we had more runners than, and those are the craziest <laughs> ones when people That's, just that is bug hilarious. out. In that the fight or flight away. kicks in, so, and they're just so they're gone. Being, being established in 2002, so now when you see like a lot of Instagram people doing pranks, it's kind of like. You they got pioneers. it from y'all. It's like the pioneers of like I'm gonna set somebody up into right. a funny position, which I think I look at like the Ashton Kutcher punk show kind of mm-hmm. sort of deal. He didn't do the scary part, but he put people in situations. Right. He did. So it's the exact so. same. Like it's the pioneers of the game. So a lot of people should pay homage <laughs> to scare taxes, which is to me when I like I said when I first saw it, I was like, man, this can't. I'm like, man, why are they? You know, and then to Tracy Morgan on the TV and stuff like that. But yeah. when I watched it, I'm like. This is like brilliant. Like, why nobody is doing more of this? And I was in tune with it. Then I think it, I don't know when y'all went to MTV. The, we started uh, airing on MTV just this year, earlier this okay. year, like this summer. So it's on gonna MTV be on too. MTV too. And, and mm-hmm. well, MTV I thought you were too. always on. Yeah, MTV. I thought it was always. No, on it I guess it was sci-fi. sci-fi. I mean, that's where sci-fi I was saw it. We were on sci-fi from 2003 to 2015, 16, okay. something like that. And then we were off for a couple of years, and now I'm bringing That's it back. It. We've got five seasons, six seasons, 119 episodes, mm. and those are all on. Viacom has the rights to those, and those are on MTV2. Netflix has the two most recent seasons right now, but sometime next year, they're going to take 26 new episodes and put those on. On Netflix. No, um, library episodes, I should okay. say. But then we might be doing new episodes with Scare Tactics next year. Oh, so with shit. Scare Tactics and Netflix next year. So. Uh, Woo! Uh, new yeah. episodes. Tune into that shit. You might see Guts <laughs> Podcast on Yeah. <laughs> so, I like the... There's tons of things I love about... The, I mean, I, I think it's a brilliant idea, yeah, of course. Brilliant. You can't ever predict human behavior, so right. there's always that element of it. It's fun, um, but you got the horror side of it. Yeah. And there's been some cool, like, horror setups. You know, like, well, one of my favorites is they had the possessed girl, um, you know, the babysitter, the dude babysitter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, and he screamed. Yeah, he was yeah. screaming. But it was, he had... Um, like, I think it was her, her sister was killed or something. Yeah, her sister, sister was, like, electrocuted or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Yes. Yeah. And, then, the and then she yeah. came out She came out. was like, oh. And the dude goes, ah! <laughs> ah! And I was crying, laughing. And I thought that was so awesome. And came through the TV, so I want to play with you. So you yeah, that voice was coming yeah. on the TV. And even after they unplugged it, yes, the TV came yeah. back on. And he kept calling the people, you need to come here now. You need to come here now. And so we had, and we had a coffee table in front of him yeah. that we had uh, someone underneath from the art department wow. who was making, you remember there was a bowl of yeah, nuts bowl that was, was on a table yeah. that was moving. Well, there was someone underneath with a magnet wow. making it move. And then when he saw that, he kicked the coffee table. And our poor art department person up there was like, ow. <laughs> didn't say anything because they were got to keep the prank going. Yeah. But yeah, that guy was so, like he bought it all. And but that's that the was... thing when we do those these bits, you don't know if someone's going to buy or is it? Is he going to get scared by a little girl? Is he really going to believe there's a ghost yeah. in the TV? Like, sometimes we, we're going out to do these going, we are wasting our time tonight. Yeah. No one is going to believe this. And then and they believe, cause we this have shit a, coming through the screen. probably a 95% success rate of getting something. Awesome. Nice. Where we go, there's sometimes where, sometimes weather kills a bit, and yeah. like we're shooting outside and we can't do it. Um, but, and some, very rarely, some nights people show up and they just aren't buying what we're selling. But, um, what was works. the one? Uh, I think they was riding in like a camper. Was it Sasquatch coming? Yeah, through Bigfoot the mm-hmm. and Bigfoot and, and, and the lady was just that girl screamed her head off. Not. And people who think the show's fake, like I, no matter how much you it. tell people it's not fake, we don't fake anything. You can't get a scream like that. No, if you're at all. It. At like all. that that's why we don't fake the show yeah. is because you won't get real reactions like that if someone's in on it you just won't so that, awesome. you saw it in her face reaction. like she's about yeah. to have this reaction some it's about to oh. go off and then she rebounded immediately as soon as we told her she was on scare tech she's like no way that's cool <laughs> yeah. and that's the kind of people we like to have on the show yeah. because they tend to like horror movies yes, they sure. like roller coasters yes. 
and they're young. We do eight, like people 18 to 22, 24 years yeah. old. Because here's the other thing. Once people get a little bit older, they have a car payment, they've got to pay rent, they got yeah. a mortgage. Yeah. They tend to ask too many questions. Yeah. You know, it's like, what do you mean I'm going to a warehouse in the middle of the nowhere to make 25 bucks an hour? Like, what happens at this warehouse? <laughs> what am I going to be? Who's there? And it's like, all right, you're already out. Yeah. You're yeah, asking too, too many much. questions. Yeah. I can't make the drive, fam. Yeah, I got to no. get up in the morning. It's like 50 bucks for two hours of work. I'm yeah. there. It's like, that's all they need to know. It's like, yeah, you're definitely. our kind of person. So the parodies of like, because you say comedy and horror, so I'm guessing mm-hmm. like... Yeah, you, did you grow up watching horror movies and stuff? Like, I love Evil Dead. The, oh, the, yeah. Yeah, uh, right? The second uh, one. Evil Dead. Bruce Campbell. Yes! And, Shout yeah. out to our boy Frost, man. That's your favorite movie, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I saw horror and comedy mixed in that one, I've yeah. probably watched that movie, I don't know how many times. I was big on like uh, the scary movies song about the Wayne Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit just like... Love like, it. Like hilarious, just I could watch. I watched this literally like for a month straight when it came on VH. I was like, man, this is this is. I love it because it's like I want. I'm not trying to win an Oscar. I'm not trying to yeah. win this. I want you to laugh. Yep. I want to. I want to make fun of people who thought their movies was yep. great. Yeah. Totally. And it just put it all together. So when I saw Scare Tape, I'm like, man, I bet you probably like the comedy horror just all the way comedy and everything. Just for love sure. to sure. see people just like, oh yeah, you I thought mean, that, that was scary. People but it's dead. Not. Too, that's like the ultimate comedy horror Man. that's done perfectly. Yes, because it is funny, but it is scary. Right. Yes. And 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 that when that's done right, I think a lot of times they mess up, and it'll be too funny. Or or sometimes my favorite ones are the ones that are trying to be serious, but they're so bad oh. <laughs> yeah. that they're that they're funny. Yeah. That's my yeah. jam. Oh, okay. I do like a, a segment called Fuckery every week, and I yeah. pick like you know the worst movies, and I break them down. Um, so Evil Dead 2, got it, yeah, Sam Raimi, just awesome, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so it, that man. makes perfect sense yeah. that you said yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's, I mean, what Scare Tactics is all about. It's funny, scary, that's a it. good time. Friends and, setting up friends. Friends I mean, we setting want up friends. It's fun. T- yeah. You know, that's what entertainment should be, man. It's fun. You we know? call our show Boo with a Budget. <laughs> perfect. Because I like that. Fr- do you guys prank each Like, do you try to scare each other? Or you All guys the time. Yeah, we, we do our little thing. But it's like a natural scale with us. Like, because this... Yeah. Because we got our house... Like, we got our... We live together. Set, yeah, we got our... Okay. So we got our apartment set up to, like, at night when you're watching movies, like, ghosts flying through the house. Ah, nice. And the doorbell is a skull that opens his mouth. Okay. Pumpkins lit up. All and right. it's all year round. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like... A scary thing to us is like if I don't hear the restroom door open or something, then he probably in there or something. It's like, uh, oh shit, uh-huh, this uh-huh. some natural thing. But it's, yeah, and we like to when people come over, we like yeah, to we like to out, mess with them, you know, because oh, okay. we like we turn on the lights, you know, and it's like it's like we got witches and ghosts flying around, and yeah. all we watch is horror movies. Yeah, so like it, you know, all the time it it's like yeah, like we and. Yeah, our neighbors probably aren't too fond of us. Yeah, <laughs> but they probably because we heavy too on the on the doors. <laughs> yeah, but we we like to have fun, man. Yeah, that's yeah. what one that, of the main reasons the yeah. we dig scare tactics. Oh, cool. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, we so grateful that that you came and agreed to talk to us today, yeah, man. Of course, yeah. appreciate Happy it. To do it. Um, so Scare Tactics, the new seasons, uh, y'all are coming to iTunes. iTunes, iTunes yes. is coming soon. Uh, we just launched seasons one and two. The original ones is, you know, where it all started. Yes. You know, that's where Rat Monster is in season two. We got vampires on motorcycles. Awesome, we've got, dude. We've got a tribute kind of to Jason with Friday the 13th movies. This bit Sick. called Camp Kill, where these camp counselors are in this remote cabin and there's a killer with a mask outside and... Uh, that one's great. Awesome. Um, so that's all part of seasons one and two. They're on Amazon right now. Go Amazon. get it right now. And shit. then iTunes, hopefully. So I, don't, I don't have a date for iTunes yet, but Netflix, seasons four and five are on Netflix right now. The whole thing is on MTV2. So set your DVRs for MTV2. It's yes. all on there. And then hopefully the whole thing will be, eventually we'll get the whole library out on iTunes, Amazon, we might even put out a DVD for people who still buy DVDs. For sure. Tom's trying to convince me to get DVDs. So. DVD, it, no, there's, it, there's a market. People that are DVD people. They love absolutely. the, they love they the, love they love the keep them. Yeah. A lot of yeah. our fans are DVD people and VHS people. They yeah. love the old yeah. school love VHS. To yes. They like to have it. Yeah. And you know, like people like to read covers and like totally. what's going on. I wanted to ask, like, is it like there's a California-based 
Or do y'all think about going to like other cities? If we get to do more, we're hoping to travel. Like we want to yeah. go to places. Like I don't know if Houston, man, Houston, y'all would have get, some if you scary a, places. If you but, put an ad in Houston, like you say, yeah. you're making over twenty five dollars an hour. <laughs> you might have people lined up like a hundred houses. Okay, okay. <laughs> just be running through different places. Good, because <laughs> it's it's like. It's like Houston is uh, the way it's set up to where it's like a factory job or be something. Anywhere in a warehouse, right? you you got people. Because yeah. it's like, oh, your warehouse job. Boom, let me do this. Right. And, and it's like you there. Because I, I done been one of the ones, oh, yeah, look in the ad. And then you get there and it's like, oh, we selling spoons door to door. You're like, fuck. Man, I, come here, I, come here, I come here to market sports, not talk about. Spoons yeah. and door to door salesmen. Houston Astros logo on it. It's I was like, exactly. I was trying to sell vacuums one day, and oh. they just dropped us off in the neighborhood and said we'd be back in like five hours. Oh, that's I was rough. Like shit, but no. the ad got me, mm-hmm. and I, and I always thought about that. I said, I wonder if they go to like different cities and just. Yeah, we want like to a set tour up, or something. You know, we want to set up in a hub. So if we do new episodes, we want to set up somewhere. You know, like New Orleans, that oh, is tons yeah. of yes, you know the yes. voodoo, yes. voodoo yes. swamps, yes. haunted yes. mansions. You know, yeah. all they that do stuff. all like those creepy swamp tours above and stuff. Ground, yeah. All the uh, graveyards have to be above ground yes. because they're below sea level. Yes, there, definitely. So there's so many creepy places in New Orleans, upstate New York. There's abandoned hospitals and mental asylums yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So we want to go. So if Houston has some good kind of creepy ghost story, yeah. haunted places, places where aliens landed, paranormal stuff, yeah. let me know. And, you know, we'll put yeah, Houston so on the map. Because, you know, it's some creepy, like, you could just, in Houston it's crazy because you could just make up some bayou something and they're like, they're going to bite on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I want to I wanna partake in this. And it's like, here they go. They're lining up. And That's it's like, it. it's, it's, it's funny because I always thought about that, like, how, and like how to draw people in mm-hmm. to come to y'all, you know what I'm saying? And and that's well, that's, that's a cool thing is once because you don't when you're doing a scare tactics bit, we don't tell people you're going on a ghost hunt tonight. exactly because otherwise they'll be expecting crazy stuff. It's like oh, you're gonna do an insurance job tonight <laughs> where we're gonna do go out to this road and see why all these crashes have been happening on this remote <laughs> stretch of road, and then crazy things start happening. Yes. So you, we get them into it a different way. Oh, mm-hmm. you're doing a warehouse job, but then. They start to hear things, and then if like there's a real story yeah. in Houston of, did you hear that story of the little boy who disappeared in a warehouse around here? You know, yeah. and then when a little boy shows up oh, later, shit. then it's a lot scarier because <laughs> yeah. we tied it to something People real, freaking local out. folklore, Definitely. right? And then it resonates a little bit more. So a lot goes into. The reason people react so well is because we've told them a story to get them in the right frame yeah. of mind, and then when the shit hits the fan, it's like, know, oh shit, react. it's happening. Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. It's perfect, man. man. I'm, I'm, I'm all for, and I'm ready for all the season, like you say, the Netflix, Amazon. Yeah, and, yeah. So go check them out on MTV Two. Go to Netflix. Yes, go Amazon. to Amazon. It's, it's coming, coming to iTunes. And that's another look thing for the DVD. The iTunes for uh, video. Because I know we do audio, mm-hmm. so I didn't know they had the part where it's set up for... That's pretty cool. That's interesting. It'll be like, ju- just like you can buy... T- I don't know if it's going to be part of Apple TV or how they're going to work okay. it, but just like you can buy episodes of some of your favorite shows and you in the it. iTunes store, cool. and you can actually watch them on your Apple TV or on your computer or nice. whatever. Um, that's what it's going to be. It's gonna, you're going to be able to buy episodes and own them, download them to own oh, that's them. Pretty, that's and, cool, and man. And keep them. So you can buy, you know, we'll give people a break. If they're buying the whole season, you'll get a big discount. Nice. If you buy them episode by episode and just pick out your favorites, that'll work too. So that's the way it is on Amazon. You buy episodes on Amazon. That's what we're coming to iTunes with. But then, you know, Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. Get on there wow. and stream all 26 episodes. Yeah. 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 Go tonight. So and I'm have the now. time of your life. Yes. <laughs> Get the chips out. You yeah. know, I prefer Doritos, whatever you want to put. <laughs> oh, you like the popcorn and raisinets in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like all. Yeah. Some uh, other shit. Scott, I like, thank you yes. so much. Thank man. you, guys. We don't want to take your time. You, oh, exactly. appreciate it. Thanks Happy for everything. Absolutely. Everybody go find Scare Tactics. I, I yes. don't know who hadn't seen it at this point. Exactly. But if you haven't seen it, it's worth it, man. It's a Rock and roll time. It's guts approved. It's man. definitely guts approved. Uh, That's yeah. all I needed to know. Hey! <laughs> so we're right. on YouTube. We got a YouTube channel. We got yes. scaretactics.tv. If you guys got friends you want to set up, 
Go to ScareTactics.tv, oh. hit the link, oh. send, out friends, <laughs> send us your information, oh. and when we're doing new episodes, we'll oh, look for people shit. to yes. up and scare. Perfect. I know a few people that need that shit in their lives. Uh-huh. I got three right off the rip. My uh-huh. old manager. <laughs> yeah. We, we're, we're good. All right. Yeah, so, appreciate man. you, man. I'm yeah. saying all the vision. It's your boy Space Viking. We got homie Scott Halleck here. And Guts Podcast. Guts Thank Podcast. We out. Right on. Woo! Horror movies. Horror movies are a life. You know where the support goes. Uh, I don't know the vision. You know where ATX and Space Vikings are. Yeah. Trying to figure shit out. <laughs> this changed my life forever.